Professor at the Pacific Disaster Center, joining us now on the line from Hawaii to explain. Thanks so much for being with us once again. There have been, by the latest estimate, hundreds of tremors. Uh, how long does this go on? How does it evolve? Um, yeah, thanks, Jonathan. Um, the, the tremors will continue for some time. Um, they drop off over time, but in the next days, weeks, and even a year, years from now, there there may still be some aftershocks that that have significant felt effects. Um, we're we're counting 20, 25 sh shocks or so that are greater than magnitude five, and um, the uh, aftershocks are likely to continue. How many aftershocks greater than six? How many aftershocks that really constitute a serious threat in their own right? Well, there were the two foreshocks that were 6 and 6.2, and uh, there's at least one aftershock uh, that we're, we've, we've seen that, it, that it's above the 6. So those will continue to cause uh, and hamper search and rescue uh, and cause uh, additional problems. Now, we're looking at a map, and that may be hard for people outside of Japan to quite figure out, but basically those orange dots represent um, either... Uh, well, they're earthquakes of different sizes, whether aftershocks, foreshocks, or the main quakes. Uh, this could go on for a while. Will, at a certain point, will everything on the surface settle? Will the buildings in most jeopardy fall and just stay down? And, and will people be able to presume that the things that have not fallen are safe enough to begin uh, to use again? Yeah, well, that's a good question. One of the things uh, going for us as we go forward is is rebuilding to the current really strong seismic building code that they have in Japan, and um, you know, and and demolishing or, or re retrofitting buildings that are getting damaged by by these events. And so, going forward, the community becomes less and less vulnerable. And you're, you're probably seeing in the imagery mostly mostly damage to older structures. The modern construction in Japan is very strong. Um, but at 1 a.m., most folks are going to be in residential construction. So that's what we're really anxious to look at in terms of performance. And, and we expect it to perform relatively well, but there are certain older wood frame building types that have have roof tiles that are very heavy in Japan. And we've seen in past earthquakes that, that they generally perform poorly, and then the weight of the uh, roof makes rescue hard and um, actually increases the, the potential for casualties. We don't really know yet how many buildings have come down. We don't really know yet how many people are trapped, though that number is said to be in the dozens after the 7.0 magnitude quake. Doug Bausch of the Pacific Disaster Center on the line walking us through all of this. Thanks very much. And